There are some big things that you should be preparing for in the cryptocurrency market right now. And we're gonna be breaking it down in this video. So we've had some massive news. I'm gonna get you guys fully up to date on that massive news. And also what do you need to be preparing for in 2023 with what is happening in the crypto market right now? So if that sounds good, hit the thumbs up button. As always, not financial advice. Let's get straight into this video. And the first thing I wanna let you guys know is 2023, what you need to be preparing for is US government regulation, but not only US US government regulation, I think a lot of regulation coming from lots of different countries out there. And what you do need to understand is they are kicking it off by focusing in on centralized crypto exchanges. So it says here, are the remaining crypto giants staring down the barrel of the US government's gun? And uh, we have Gary Gensler with the ghoulish red background right here. And uh, he's got centralized crypto exchanges in the crosshairs right now. And if you paid attention to yesterday, video, you would know that the San Francisco based exchange Kraken agreed to shut down its staking services and pay a $30 million fine amid agency accusations that the services amounted to a sale of securities. So that was some massive news and this has caused absolute shockwaves through the centralized exchanges around the world right now. And uh, what we can anticipate is uh, more and more scrutiny by the SEC in particular to centralized exchanges. And you can see right here from the headline of this article, SEC Chief Gensler warns crypto firms to comply with rules after Kraken shutters US staking program. So they had a yield program on a centralized exchange. And uh, basically, Gary Gensler is saying, if you don't comply with the US securities laws, you don't register with them, be compliant, you can expect big investigations, big fines. So I think in the imminent term, what you need to understand, particularly if you're tuning in from the USA today is that if you're on a crypto exchange and it's a centralized crypto exchange out there, you know, potentially if they have those yield bearing options on that crypto exchange, I don't know how long they're going to be around for unless that crypto exchange basically complies with what Gary Gensler is saying in the crypto market. So he's not outlawing decentralized staking right now. And some people are actually saying, uh, you know, this could actually be a positive for decentralized staking. So remember in crypto, if your crypto is held on a centralized exchange, you don't actually own the keys to that. So that's not your crypto, technically speaking, because you don't have the private keys to it. But if you have your crypto on another type of wallet, like a ledger, trust wallet, etc., you actually own the keys to that crypto wallet. So decentralized staking is still fair game for now. And some people are saying this is a good thing for decentralized Ethereum staking. And if you have a look at this, data shows that Kraken accounts for 7.42% of the total ETH staked, ranking third in market share, second only to Lido and Coinbase Kraken is set to unstake 1,233,728 ETH following the Shanghai update. And that is a massive unstaking right now. So I think technically speaking, the big losers out of this right now are people who enjoyed staking on centralized exchanges. So if you just enjoy the simplicity of earning some yield on a centralized exchange like Kraken, that's no longer a go in the USA right now. You can't do that according to Gary Gensler unless you're fully SEC compliant. And uh, the other people who lose out in this regard is actually the centralized exchanges themselves. So you have to remember as well, some of the, these, these centralized exchanges do operate for profit too. So they are definitely making some profits off these. And the prelude to all of this, of course, if there is the FTX collapse. So you remember with FTX, what was FTX doing? It was basically like gambling traders' money on the crypto exchange. There's lots of funny business happening with uh, that crypto exchange. But this is kind of what you need to prepare for. So watch out for some more scrutiny around centralized crypto exchanges. And I also think another one as a bit of a prediction, I do like this crypto exchange. I do use it myself. I reckon Binance, I reckon there's going to be some more regulation and focusing on the Binance crypto exchange as well, even though I think they're doing a great job and I think they're very transparent personally. But, uh, you know, we know that the SEC is basically on the war path right now. And uh, so that is the big thing to watch out for in 2023. If we do have a look at uh, how the crypto prices are going today, guys, you know, it's a bit of a mixed day on the market. Some cryptos are up, some cryptos are down. You can see a big drop in LDO right there. So potentially that's got to do with a crackdown on staking 
with uh, the FUD in the market. And uh, will Gary Gensler go into decentralized staking? We're going to we're going to find out about that in the future. But right now, it is focused in on centralized uh, staking. And if we jump over to the crypto prices, you guys can see you know Bitcoin down slightly today, roughly one percent. Ethereum down two point three percent. Shib actually up five point seven percent. So Shib's going up, guys. Good stuff for Shiba Inu and Terra Classic up 2.4%. But overall, guys, staying bullish long term in the crypto market, not too worried about uh, this FUD. And I think crypto will prevail. And uh, Michael Saylor says here, Bitcoin is hope. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Links to different bonuses and free things in the description of this video. But guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.